Amen. Oh, glory to God. John 14, verse 12. John 14, verse 12 is what I am reading now. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Lord, bless the preaching of your word. Receive glory and honor in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, let me tell you something. That it is a promise that if you believe in Jesus, that is what he has said. That if you believe in Jesus, the things he's saying, the things that I have done, you will do them also. And you will even do greater works. Sometimes when people read these scriptures, they think only about the things that Jesus did in miracles and in healing. And that is good because we will also be able to do that and even do greater works. But there are things about Jesus that sometimes we overlook. Because one of the most important things that you may need to know is that Jesus was a genius. Jesus was a genius in the head. He was a genius. At the age of 12, the Bible says that Jesus, they went to the temple in Jerusalem with his parents. And when they were going back home, eh, they discovered that Jesus is not with them. Three days, they came back. They found him on the third day. He was seated with the Sadducees and the Pharisees in the temple. And he was teaching them the law. And they were asking him questions. And he was answering their questions. You know, these Pharisees, they used to say, and they used to wonder about Jesus. And they used to say, how, how does he know these things? How is he so intelligent? How, do, how, how does he know these things? Because he has not gone through our education system. And you know the way many of us have preached about the Pharisees and the Sadducees, we preach about them as though they were, they were fools, as though they were not very intelligent people, and, they were, and that is the reason why they used to oppose Jesus. But I want to submit to you that you could not qualify to be a Pharisee unless you had one of the many qualities was that you had to have the ability to memorize the Pentateuch of head. The Pentateuch is the first five books of Moses. Genesis, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They had to be in your head. So that if I ask you, De Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 3, you don't run to the Bible, you quote it off head. Leviticus 4 verse 5, you quote it. Those guys... They were the lawyers. They were the rulers. You remember, there is one Pharisee who came to see Jesus at night. His name was Nicodemus. And the Bible says that there was a man of the Pharisees eh, who was called Nicodemus. And the Bible says he was a ruler. They were the rulers. They were the teachers of the law. They were the lawyers of that time. And you need also to know that if you go through the Old Testament, you'll see that they were the, even the medical doctors. If you go through the book of Leviticus, you will see that it was the priest who was the medical doctor. The priests, they were the medical doctors. If you had a condition in your body, you went to the priest and he analyzed your condition. And there are formulas that God had given them to heal, to mix uh, uh, medicine and heal you. They were very intelligent people. And these intelligent grown-ups, a 12-year-old boy, sat with them for three days and three nights. They were mesmerized by his wisdom, by his knowledge. Jesus was a genius. Jesus. 
Jesus was a genius. And so when he says that you will do mighty works, it means you will also perform well intellectually. Somebody say amen. amen. You will also be a Akili yako itafanya kazi kwa njia isiyo ya kawaida. Somebody say amen. Ndiyo Biblia inasema hivi kwamba ukiingia kwa hiyo njia hata wale walionekana kama ni wajinga kabla hawajaingia they will no longer be fools. Hawata wachukua wajinga tena watakuwa na akili. Kwa ni mfanyi biashara hodari alikuwa carpenter alikuwa na biashara ya useremala. Na biashara he was not a carpenter. He was if you read the Bible they ask themselves is this not the carpenter not a carpenter yani katikati ya ma carpenter ye ndiye alikuwa bazu is this not the carpenter yani he was the most excellent amongst the carpenters kwa hiyo nimekuja kukuambia bwana anasema the works that he has done you shall do them and you shall also do greater works kwa hivyo nimekuja kukuambia kaa tayari akili yako inaenda kufunguka akili yako unaenda kupata great ideas from god ideas ambazo zitakutajirisha ideas ambazo zitasaidia watu wenyu ideas ambazo zitasaidia hiyo kampuni ambayo unafanya kazi hiyo biashara yako Mungu kuanzia leo atakupatia ideas ambazo sio za kawaida na zitafanya upanuke zitafanya uinuliwe ni hizo ideas ambazo sio za kawaida ndio zinafanyaga wakubwa wa kuone na wakupatie cheo na wakupatie kiti ndio inafanyaga hata serikali ikuone hiyo ni wewe ni mtu tofauti wewe ni mtu unaweza kutusaidia we need to get to a place whereby tuko na wakristo ambao wanaweza kusaidia serikali kusaidia serikali na mawazo kusaidia serikali na ideas kusaidia serikali na maono tutoke kwa akili ya serikali saidia tuambie Mungu nipatie uwezo wa kujisaidia na kusaidia watu wangu na kusaidia mpaka serikali iliyo karibu na mimi na kusaidia mpaka kanisa na kusaidia ulimwengu somebody say amen, amen. ni vizuri hata wewe Mungu akusaidie U, 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 you, you can help the world. Eh? Yeah. You can discover some things that can help the world. Mtu mwingine aliniambia a story flani ya jamaa mmoja ule ali discover Colgate. Colgate. Colgate ali Colgate ni jina ya mtu. Colgate. Hata wewe kunaweza tokea kitu iitwe jina yako na iende dunia yote. Because Yesu anasema great mtafanya mambo makubwa makubwa ule ataamini ule ataamini Sasa sikia nikwambie Colgate alitengeneza hiyo dawa na akaambia Mungu mimi Mungu ukini ukinibariki hii 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 product yangu iende nitakuwa na kutolea fungu la kumi. Nitakuwa na kutoa sita kosa kutoa fungu la kumi kani niliambiwa na huyo mtu Colgate alikuwa anatoa 90% of his income to the preaching of the gospel and to the work of missionaries kwa sababu hata hiyo 10% alikuwa anabaki nayo is too much is too much for him and he la for 100 generations mungu anaweza kukupatia idea ninawachilia greater works in the name of jesus i release greater works in your life greater works in your business greater works in this church greater works in your ministry Some Somebody say Ema, you will do greater works because i am going back to my father and when i go back to my father another helper will come to you he is the holy spirit He is na kazi na roho mtakatifu. Watu wengi wanafikiria roho mtakatifu ni robo 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 robo. Roho mtakatifu ni Mungu. Roho mtakatifu ni Mungu. Roho mtakatifu is greater than tongues. He 
is bigger than tongues. Tongues is a small portion. Tongues si mbaya, ni mzuri, but it is a small portion. Yesu akisema nitatuma Roho Mtakatifu akuje kukusaidia. Ni kumaanishaje Roho Mtakatifu anakuja kukusaidia kwa mambo yako yote. Roho Mtakatifu sio wa kanisani peke yake, hata pale kwa biashara yako ukienda, enda na Roho Mtakatifu mwambie, Roho Mtakatifu karibu kwa hii kazi, tufanye kazi na wewe. Somebody say amen. Usiwache Roho Mtakatifu kanisani enda na ye nyumbani enda na ye kazini enda na ye kwa biashara siku moja nilipata kazi nikiwa kijana mdogo nilipata kazi huko Mombasa nilienda nilikuwa nimesoma German language nikaenda kufanya tourism sasa hiyo kazi nilipata tul, ilikuwa tulikuwa tunauzia wazungu e, 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 nini items souvenirs lakini zile souvenirs hazikuaga na price tag hakuna mahali ilikuwa imeandikwa ulikuwa unauza kulingana na your ability and your bargaining power kwa sababu wazungu pia si same kuna wazungu wakuaga na pesa sana kwa hivyo vitu walikuwa nauziwa tu kama mkenya lakini kuna wazungu walikuwa wanatoka germany kuna wazungu walikuwa wanatoka britain kuna wazungu walikuwa wanatoka america ambao they are purchasing power na pesa yao because of exchange rate Hawa wakuaga na wasiwasi hata wasi, wakinunua vitu hata hawabagain sasa hizo vitu zikuaga na price tag price tag ilikuanga jina u, umetoka inchi gani <laughs> price tag ni kule umetoka and the power of your money there sasa mimi nikaingia kwa hiyo biashara kwa hiyo kazi nikaambiwa because you know german language wewe utakuwa wewe a specialist wa wale wa Jerumani wakikuja na we will pay you 10% commission of everything that you sell kwa hivyo hakuna mshahara hakuna mshahara bidii yako ndio inakuokoa alafu sasa nikaambiwa ingia kazi mimi nikaingia shida ni moja sijui bei ya vitu sijui hii inauzwa pesa ngapi Sijui hii ni pesa ngapi? Hii pia sijui ni pesa ngapi? So nilipata salesmen wengine hapo kama watatu. Nikawauliza, e, simu niambie bei ya vitu wakakataa. Sababu ya nini? Wivu. Wanasema sasa wameleta mwingine ile pesa tunapatanga. Wakakataa kuniambia. Siku ya kwanza wazungu wakakuja. Wazungu wakakuja. Wazungu wakakuja, nikajaribu nikajaribu bidi yangu iliniokoa nikauza 500 shillings hiyo siku nikapewa jioni commission ya 50 bob nikaenda nyumbani nikipitia nilikuwa naka tulikuwa tunakaa na ndugu mwingine anaitwa Maisha sasa tu, nikapitia tukanunua chapati na mandondo kwa njia na nyanya tukaenda kukatakata tukarangi tukakula tukalala the next day nikapambana vile najua nikapambana kujua the prices of things na akili yangu nikauza tena Mungu akanisaidia nikauza 500 shillings nikapewa commission yangu ya 50 bob nikaenda nayo nyumbani tukapitia na maina pale kwa njia tena tukanunua chapati na mandondo tukaenda kukulia kwa nyumba siku ya tatu wakakuja sasa wale wazungu unajua sasa nimeanza kupata confidence sasa ule mzungu nilienda kuuzia hiyo group akachukua elephant ilikuwa imechongwa vizuri anaiangalia na, na jaribu kumuongelesha hata anisikii yani anaiadmire vile imechongwa vile imepolishiwa vile imetengenezwa anaiadmire saa hiyo saa hiyo ndiyo nilipata ufunuo yenye itanitoa kwa commission ya finje every jioni nikasimama kando nimpatie nafasi so that he can admire that carving na nikaambia roho mtakatifu holy spirit come and let us make this cell together huyo jamaa hiyo carving nilimwambia 30000 akubagain akubagain alitoa hizo wale wengine alikuitu hapo wakanunua vitu totally yanayo walinunua 100,000 hiyo siku nika eh hey, wewe unasema nini wewe 
Wewe wacha nikuambie nikaenda nyumbani na commission ya 10k. We unafikiri tulipitia kwa njia kununua mandondo? Unafikiri tulinunua mandondo hiyo siku? Hiyo siku tulienda kwa katika hoteli tukasema kuku ikuje. Kuku ikuje. May God give you a revelation that will even change your diet. That will change the things you eat. Si lazima ukulange zile vitu ziko. Pia unaweza kulanga zile unataka. Si lazima ukulange gaveri juu ndio iko. Ama ugali na sukuma ndio iko. Unaweza kula chenye roho yako inataka. Kwa sababu uko na ufunuo ambayo inaweza kukubadilishia maisha. Na hiyo ufunuo ni gani? Greater works shall you do from today. Somebody say amen. Unajua Mungu Mungu pia Mungu pia si ati si ati ukikula vizuri ana anastukanga si, si, juu umeokoka sana unaona hata Mungu siku ile Elijah alienda pale kwa ile river Bible inasema and the ravens they brought him and bread in the morning meat and bread in the evening kila siku unajua bread and meat ni nini unajua bread and meat Burgers. Burgers si uanga ni bread hapa juu na bread hapa chini katikati meat. Mungu akikubaliki si lazima gadheri, unaweza pia kula vizuri. Somebody say amen. Pokea a better life. Somebody say amen. Sasa Mungu anakuambia greater work. Sasa kuanzia siku hiyo that became my formula. That became my formula. Every time I needed to serve a client I would pray a simple prayer in my heart. Unajua si lazima ufanye drama, uko na watu si lazima ufanye nini ati juro ameshuka. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Unaweza jicontrol sababu siku ile utatokea mbele ya president kuna vitu hautafanya lakini utahitaji roho mtakatifu akusaidie. So every time I was serving a client I would tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit come let us make this sell together. Nimekuja kukuambia wacha kuacha Roho Mtakatifu kwa kanisa. Wacha kuacha Roho Mtakatifu kwa kanisa. Enda na Roho Mtakatifu kwa ofisi. Enda na Roho Mtakatifu hapo kwa hiyo biashara. Saa zile unafanya kazi ongea na yeye kimoyo moyo. Unamwambia Holy Spirit nisaidie nifanye mambo makuu. Somebody say amen. Unajua watu wengi hawajui Holy Spirit ni Mungu na ndio aliumba ulimwengu na watu wengi hawajui ati Holy Spirit anajua chenye una You know the Holy Spirit is God and he knows all things. One of the one of the qualities of God is that he is omniscient. He, he knows all things, isn't it? Where Do you know the Holy Spirit knows mathematics? When the Bible says and the Holy Spirit shall teach you all things. Si maombi peke yake. The Holy Spirit knows business. He can teach you business. The Holy Spirit knows mathematics. He can teach you to know mathematics. The Holy Spirit anajua maisha. Anaweza akakufundisha jinsi ya kuishi anajua medicine anaweza akakufundisha ukawa daktari ama ukawa nurse ambaye wagonjwa wakiingia kwa mikono yake ni kupona tu ni kupona no losses the holy spirit can teach you all things because the holy spirit knows all things kwa hivyo ukitoka hapa usiwache roho mtakatifu hapa Ati sasa mutakuja mkutane na yeye hapa tena Jumapili ijayo enda na yeye nyumbani enda na yeye kazini kile kinakusumbuaga hapo nyumbani mwambie Roho Mtakatifu nisaidie nifurishi nifundishe kuishi na huyu mzee wangu tuache kushindaga tukigombana nifundishe kuishi na hawa watoto wangu tuache kushinda tukikosana 
nifundishe kuishi na huyu mke wangu niache kushinda nikimkosea because the holy spirit ndio aliumba hawa watu wote na the holy spirit anajua where the button for everything and every person is so yesu anasema you will do great and mighty things not because of your education not because of your money not because of your connections not because of what you know but because i am going to the father and i will talk to the father and the father will give you another helper and that helper is the holy spirit i need you to understand kwamba wakati mungu anatupatia roho wake you need to understand who the holy spirit is you need to understand who the Holy Spirit is. Ili akuambie, the formula is simple. I have given you a helper. The Holy Spirit needs to be your helper in your business. Your partner. Go and make a covenant with him when you leave this place. Umuambie roo mtakatifu from today. Nataka ukue business partner wangu. Nataka ukue partner wangu wa ile kazi ninafanya. You will see that you will begin to do greater works. Because God does not do anything under the sun unless the Holy Spirit comes first. Mungu wafanyagi vitu alafu roo anakuja. Ni roo anakujaga ndiyo kitu ifanyike. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was void and formless and darkness was hovering over the face of the deep and and the and darkness was on the face of the deep and the holy spirit was hovering over the waters and then God said let there be light and there was light Somebody say amen kwamba ili Mungu aumbe ulimwengu ilibidi Roho Mtakatifu akuje kwanza New Testament Mungu akatuma malaika kwa msichana anaitwa Maria Maria akamwambia You are blessed amongst women You shall be with child utazaa mwana utamuita Yesu because he will be great and he will save his people from their sins. Maria akauliza malaika, how can these things be? And I know no man. Sina mtu mtazaaje. The Bible says the angel told him, the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and the power of the Holy Spirit will hover over you and you shall conceive. And the holy thing that shall be conceived in your stomach it shall be called the son of god yesu yuko na miaka 30 ajaanza kuhubiri inabidi sasa aanze kwenda kuhubiri sasa yesu ni mwana wa mungu yuko na akili zote yuko na ufahamu wote biblia inasema akaenda mto jordani kwa yohana mbatizaji akamwambia Yohana mbatizaji unibatize Biblia inasema when John baptized Jesus the heaven when Jesus came out of the water the heavens were open and the holy spirit came down to Jesus in the form of a dove Somebody say amen Yaani kabla Yesu akahubiri Roho Mtakatifu lazima akuje kwanza Kabla Mungu aumbe ulimwengu Roho mtakatifu lazima akuje kwanza. Kabla Maria apate mimba ya Yesu, Roho mtakatifu lazima akuje kwanza. Na ndiyo Biblia inaniambia ni kuambie, kabla uanze kufanya mambo makuu, Roho mtakatifu ashakuja kwanza. Somebody say amen. The Holy Spirit is already here. He is already hovering in this church. He is already hovering in this service. He is already hovering ile kesha tulikuwa nayo Friday. Nilienda nyumbani nilikaa kwa sitting room. 
mpaka saa moja asubuhi nimezuba nimedua nimedua akili iko uko roho iko uko hata mwili iwezi kupata usingizi because of the anointing of the holy spirit that was here that night on friday night hata wife yangu jana akaniuliza na ulikuja kulala late eh nilikusikia ukiingia lakini ulikaa pale karibu masaa mawili nikamwambia ile upako nilikuwa nasikia niko uko uko mbali sana kabla nijirudishe nilale mwili mwili iweze kukubali kulala because of the holy spirit the holy spirit is already in this church there is no reason why you should not begin to do greater works hakuna sababu yenye inafaa kukuzuia usifanye mambo makubwa alafu yesu enda akachukua biblia akafungua kwa nabii isaya where it says the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach good news yani hata message ya kwanza ya yesu kuhubiri he dedicated it to the holy spirit that is how it is important when god tells you that he has given you the holy spirit he has given you his best his best let me tell you something what is the best thing that god can give you the best thing that god can give you on earth is the holy spirit is the holy spirit because he has given you god he has given you himself these are the things ambazo atatupatia vitu vya hapa duniani kama ni pesa kama ni magari kama ni manyumba kama ni biashara hizo zote ni vitu za hapa lakini roho mtakatifu sio wa hapa ni wa huko kwa hivyo akikupatia roho mtakatifu amekupatia the best somebody say amen yesu akafanya muujiza wake wa kwanza muujiza wa kwanza wa yesu in the in kana of galilee akabadilisha maji yakafanyika divai water is a symbol of the holy spirit because jesus said those who believe in me out of their innermost being there shall flow rivers of living water water is a symbol of the holy spirit wine is also another symbol of the holy spirit a more potent symbol of the holy spirit because the uh, bible says that you cannot put new wine in old wine skins that is to say you cannot put the new move of the holy spirit in the old structures of operation wine is also another symbol of the holy spirit now kanisa sasa inataka kuzaliwa amewaambia musiende kuhubiri mungoje mpaka mtakapopokea ahadi ya bwana and on the day of pentecost before the church is born the holy spirit had to come first wakajazwa na roho mtakatifu wakazungumza na lugha wakatoka wakihubiri miujiza ikatendeka miujiza ya ajabu sasa uelewe Mungu akikuambia ninakutumia msaidizi anakutumia msaidizi wa aina gani The Holy Spirit si mtu mdogo watu wanasema God is a trinity God the Father the first person of the holy of the trinity the second person of the holy of the holy trinity Jesus the third person of the holy Spirit, trinity the holy spirit sasa watu wanafikiri ati kwa sababu amewekwa number 3 ye ni mdogo ye ni mdogo kuliko hawa wawili yes si mdogo wanatoshana that is why on the day when jesus was baptized in the river jordan the bible says john saw the holy spirit coming upon jesus in the form of a dove that dove haikumkalia kichwa kwa sababu kama angemkalia kwa kichwa ingemaanisha kwamba yeye ni mkubwa 
kuliko Yesu. Na hiyo dav haikuanguka kwa miguu yake kwa sababu kama ingeanguka kwa miguu yake ingemaanisha yeye ni mdogo kuliko Yesu. Hiyo dav ilisimama kwa mabega yake kumaanisha kwamba tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja. The helper that God has given you is the one who created this world. He is the one who created the money that you are looking for. He is the one who created the cities of this world. He is the one who created the systems of government in this world. He is the one who has done everything in this world because God does not do anything unless the Holy Spirit comes first. God depends on the Holy Spirit to do his work here. That is why the Holy Spirit needs to come so that the world can be created. That's why the Holy Spirit needs to come so that Jesus can be born. That's why the Holy Spirit needs to come so that Jesus can preach. That's why the Holy Spirit needs to come so that the church can be born. That is why the Holy Spirit has come so that you can do mighty works, greater works. Na Yesu akimalizia akawaambia All sins in this world shall be forgiven. But blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven in this world or in the world to come. Kwamba huyu roho ni wa maana kiasi ya kwamba we ukitaka unaweza tukaa na Mungu na ukiomba msamaa utasamewa. We ukitaka unaweza tukaa na Yesu. Si walimtukana wakamtemea mate, wakampiga, wakamsulubisha, wakamuua. Na bado pale kwa msalaba akasema, "Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do." Lakini Yesu alisema, "Kuna mmoja ambaye huyo ukitukana, hakuna msamaha hapa na hakuna msamaha huko." Na huyo ni kumaanisha he is very important in the formulation of the kingdom of God. Na huyo ndiyo Mungu amekupatia akusaidie ufanye greater works. God has sent me to you today to tell you from today begin believing for greater works. Anza kuitisha mambo makubwa mambo makubwa mambo makubwa wacha nikuambie story moja nimalize tuombe wacha nikuambie siku moja niliomba Mungu nikaona nime, mi nimechanuka nikaambia Mungu Mungu nataka unionyeshe snow nataka unionyeshe snow na sitaki ile snow iko juu ya Mount Kenya na sitaki ile snow iko juu ya Mount Kilimanjaro sasa hapo niliona nimefunga God ati lazima anipeleke majuu niliona yani niliona mi ni mjuaji <laughs> nikaomba maombi niliomba nikiwa mtoto mdogo yani nikiwa a young, a young believer hiyo wakati nikifanya kazi huko Mombasa kwa hiyo biashara nilikwambia sasa nikakaa miaka kumi na tatu. miaka kumi na tatu, hata nilishasahau Niliomba hiyo maombi. Nilisahau. Niliomba hiyo maombi. Siku moja tukatoka na KLM hapa. Tukatoka tukaenda, tukaambua tunaenda kulanda Amsterdam. Ilikuwa Januari hivi, Januari tarehe moja mbili. Tukaenda. Bas, asubuhi kifika tukaamushwa na pilot akatuambia kila mtu mkule breakfast haraka haraka. We are now descending on Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. Tukashuka tukashuka tukashuka. Unajua mimi ni mkeja wa kawaida. Yaani nasikia excited macho iko hapa kwa dirisha. Tena nilichagua kiti ya dirisha ndio nione. Eh? Tukashuka tukashuka saa zile tulitokelezea Amsterdam. Nikaanza kuona kwa barabara kuna vitu za white uko kando. 
kukando barabara iko tu sawa lakini huku kando kuna vitu za white sasa nashindwa hizi vitu za white ni nini tukashuka tukashuka ndege ikaland hapo kwa airport kwa runway huku kando naona vitu za white vitu za white ndio nilisikia holy spirit amekuja juu yangu akaniuliza do you remember 13 years ago you told god to show you snow nikasema eh hey. akaniambia ndio hii nililia nililia sina sauti kubwa ati ya 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 mimi ndio nilishuka hiyo ndege mwisho nikaenda kwa airport nikatafuta kakona peke yangu nililia because i cried for two reasons the first reason i cried is because i realized kumbe god is faithful na kila kitu ile tunaomba itakuja fanyika siku moja itakuja fanyika siku moja sababu yangu ya pili ya kulia hiyo siku ni sababu niliitisha kitu kidogo sana nilingojea 13 years nione snow na macho na siwezi ibeba tukaikule na watoto wangu Yaani nimengojea mujiza ikafanyika lakini siwezi rudi nayo Kenya tununue mashamba Nikasema Mungu nisaidie ni ate kuomba tu vitu tudogo tudogo Kama kila maombi ambayo tunaomba itajatendeka Basi ni vizuri tujue tuache kuomba vitu ndogo ndogo Ni sisi tumejilimit. Mungu anasema greater works. Greater works. Greater works. Toka kwa maombi ndogo ndogo. Wacha kuamini Mungu kwa vitu vidogo vidogo. Enda ukatafute maono. Mungu alimwambia Abraham, as far as your eyes shall see that will be your territory. Yaani ni kulingana huyu Mungu akishaachilia huyu Roho Mtakatifu, ni kulingana na maono yako. Ni kulingana na unaona mpaka mbali wapi, unaona mpaka wapi, hapo penye unaona ndio hapo. Wacha kuona hapa. Wacha kuona hapa. Wacha kuona hakuna kitu. Hakuna kitu Roho Mtakatifu akishuka there is nothing that is impossible. Nataka tuombe ili tumuombe akuje akatusaidie kufanya vitu kubwa kubwa. Nikwambie story ya mwisho. Rafiki yangu mmoja alibarikiwa na katoto ka kijana. Watoto wake wote walikuwa wasichana. Na wasichana pia ni wazuri na ni watoto na ni wazuri. Lakini alitamani sana kukuwa na mtoto kijana. Siku ile Mungu alimpatia mtoto kijana after miaka kama sijui ilikuwa miaka tatu ine, ule mtoto wakaanza kupata physical problems. Akapele kwa hospitali wakamfanyia wakamwangalia angalia wakapata yuko na shimo kwa roho. Na wakaambia mzazi huyu mtoto from now awezi maliza miaka ingine mbili. Sasa huyu mama akawa analilia Mungu. Huyu mtoto ni muujiza. Nilikulilia unipatie kijana. Umenipatia kijana. Sasa itakuwa hivi kweli. Ni hivi kutaenda. Ni hivi kutaenda. Akajaribu matibabu yote hapa Kenya ikashindikana. Mungu akamkutanisha na mtu mmoja akaenda akamuulizia marafiki wake kule Amerika akapata e, nafasi ya kufanyiwa heart surgery huyo mtoto huko Amerika for free sasa huyo mama na mtoto wake wakatoka wakaenda Amerika wakaenda hapo kwa hiyo hospitali hapo kwa hiyo hospitali siku ya surgery siku ya surgery ikafika mtoto akachukuliwa Sasa mama akamsalimia ya mwisho. 
akamwambia kwa heri ya mwisho kwa sababu sasa akiingia hapo kutoka ni kama Mungu atapenda hakuna tena uwezo wa mwanadamu ni Mungu kama Mungu atapenda mtoto atarudi kama Mungu atapenda mtoto ataenda basa kama ya mwisho kwa heri mtoto akaingizwa theater nini nini mama alikuwa amekaa kwa kiti hapa nje ya theater theater imeanza si unajua huko unaambiwa tunaanza saa fulani na operation itachukua masaa fulani so unakaa hapo unaombea mtu wako mimi nakuambia huyo mama alituambia story akatuambia alikaa hapo nje akasikia theater imejaa roho mtakatifu ndio nimekuambia roho mtakatifu si tanks roho mtakatifu ni Mungu anaweza kuja na kukue kumenyamaza lakini kama unamjua utajua ni yeye ni yeye na yuko hapa na ukijua ni yeye na yuko hapa utajua kwamba chochote chaweza kutokea and nothing is too difficult huyo mama akiwa amekaa pale mtoto wake akifanywa operation pale kwa theater Roma mtakatifu amejaa huko amejaa akasikia wimbo inaimba ndani ya roho yake alipo bwana alipo bwana alipo bwana yote yawezekana alipo bwana yote yawezekana kama unajua hiyo wimbo kama ushaiona kwa youtube that is the story behind that song <coughs> ukiona kwa youtube wanaonyeshaga hizo picha za mtoto kwa theater. it is not acting the true story hiyo wimbo ilikujia mama yake mtoto akiwa kwa theater i have the pleasure to inform you today that huyo mtoto ali survive na huyo mtoto he grew up. Na huyo mtoto leo ni mtu mzima. Ni mtu mzima. Sababu alipo Bwana yote yawezekana. Yote yawezekana. Yote minus nothing inawezekana. Na wewe pia greater works can happen in your life because the Holy Spirit is here. Stand up and let us pray for two minutes. Dakika mbili tu. Tuombe tu tukaribishe Roho Mtakatifu. Umwambie Roho Mtakatifu si unaona maisha yangu vile iko. Si unaona vile ninaishi. I want change. I want change of situation, change of circumstance. Nataka biashara yangu ibadilike. Nataka biashara yangu ibadilike taka familia yangu ibadilike na taka watoto wangu wabadilike nataka kufanya mambo makubwa na ile kitu itaingia kwa maisha yako leo utafanya makuu na watoto wako watabeba pia hiyo kitu wakatende makuu wakatende makuu unaweza kuwa unaona maisha yako imesonga sana uanze kujiuliza sasa mimi naweza fanya makuu gani naweza fanya makuu gani at my age na nimesongesha miaka sana wacha nikuambie ile kitu itaingia kwako leo itaingia kwa mtoto wako na kwa wajukuu wako and your children will be great your children will keep your name respected in your community somebody say amen Unaweza shika mtu mkono hapo. Nataka tuombe eh, hivi. Sijui kama ingawaje masaa imeisha, sijui kama mnaweza nichezea mziki kidogo. Niko na ka formula kangu. Kale kale. <laughs> Ak. You don't change formulas that work. Work. 
You change formulas that don't work. Nataka tuombe hivi na moja itafanyika. Huyo mtu tutaabudu kama umeshika mtu mkono. Tutaingia kwa uwepo wa Mungu pamoja. Alafu nitakupatia dakika mbili uombe huyo mtu. You pray for the person on your left. Pray for the person on your right. Alafu nitakuambia utamwachilia. Ukimwachilia nitakupatia dakika ingine moja ujiombe sasa. We mwenyewe sasa ujiombe. Alafu ukimaliza kujiombea mimi nitakuombea. Moja kati ya hizo maombi tatu itajibiwa. Moja kati ya hizo maombi tatu aidha hiyo yangu ama hiyo yako ama hiyo ya jirani yako lazima moja kati ya hizo tatu itajibiwa and greater works will begin to happen in your life somebody say amen anaweza anaweza bwana anaweza anaweza bwana anaweza anaweza bwana anaweza anaweza bwana sema anaweza
Katala Baba Daki Kamili Daki Kamili Ombe Churani Yako Ombe Bwana Atende Makubwa Atende Makubwa Akikisha Kuna Mutu Wana Kuombea Na Kuomba Na Wewe Na Muombea Mutu Wana Tenda Makubwa Baba Greater Works Greater Works Greater Works Greater Works My God Badilisha, change the story, change the story, change the story of somebody. Badilisha, Badilisha story of your mama, Badilisha story of your baba, the Badilisha story of your kitchen. The Holy Spirit is here. Ay, 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 ay. 